This YCN segment is brought to you by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating, your local energy specialist. Welcome to Back in the Saddle Equine Therapy Center right here in Hopkinton, New Hampshire. I'm Elizabeth Durazio and I'm joined by Craig Merriweather. He is the veterans liaison on the board here and he has a unique story because he has first-hand experience of what it's like to experience the healing power of these horses as well as living a life of service. I want to thank you for your service to our country in the military. I really do. You know, you've given so much of your time and to be able now to turn that around is really a beautiful story. Tell us how you came to BITSEC. Well, I thank you for your support. Mm -hmm. And um, for about the past 20 years, I've been, uh, before moving to Manchester, I was chronically homeless. Mm -hmm. And um, he, in Manchester, I found the Liberty House as a place of refuge where I can uh, live and uh, expand my network. And I was introduced to Back in the Saddle Equine Therapy Center through their Ride Up program. Mm -hmm. And so me and about four other housemates came up for eight weeks in the fall of uh, 14, mm -hmm. and um, we um, learned everything about the horses from the ground up. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was a release of the inner child that experienced horses when I was like six and seven years old. And it gave me an opportunity to uh, feel joy, experience fun, mm -hmm. and not only learn about um, horse psychology, but that bond that it takes when you're grooming your animal and mm -hmm. preparing the animal before you even get on them. So you have that relationship and that bond. And that experience really um, bit me, the horse bug bit me. Yep. <laughs> and I was able to uh, continue on as a volunteer. I went to the volunteer training to become a sidewalker and a horse leader during the lessons. Mm -hmm. And uh, that wasn't enough for me. <laughs> right. C coming from Manchester, um, 30 miles is the distance each way. And for me, it's well worth the effort and the gas to come up here to this beautiful place of health and wellness, to be around this community of supporting people where the horses are the healers. And um, excellent staff and instructors here just facilitate that need that is unspoken between the horse and the individual. Mm -hmm. And that's what really keeps me coming back because even though I wear many hats here, um, it gives me an opportunity to expand uh, my role and, and expand the program to offer it to other veterans that might be in need of this healing power and through really horses. that's really crucial. You and I were talking um, before, before taping and we were talking about your own story. Post-traumatic stress comes in many forms and even many veterans out there right now don't realize there are programs like this available. BITSEC is available through word of mouth. You're not just going to suddenly have a doctor say, by the way, here's a prescription for some therapy. BITSEC is through word of mouth and the write-up program is free. So really, you've got nothing to lose. So what we're trying to do here today is encourage someone, maybe a family member or someone to make that referral to someone. What would you tell someone who thought, gee, I'm not going to go, go work with a horse? What would you tell them? Well, f for me, the, the biggest impact BITS has had on my life is the reintegration with community. Mm -hmm. um, being a part of um, animals that need me mm -hmm. and knowing that I can answer that call by being open and receptive and listening and responding to their needs, it fills a void in my in my life that says, go ahead, get out that house, mm -hmm. uh, go on and be a part of life and enjoy the moment. And if that's missing from your life, this is a place where you can meet not only the animals, but the uh, adults that make the community, uh, because the farming community is a close-knit community. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we care about each other, we help each other, and, as well as we listen. Mm -hmm. And nobody listens better than the horses, though. This is true. So I'm asking everyone out there, if you know a veteran, whether they're disabled or not, and you think they maybe need some time just to break away, or maybe they're not quite themselves from coming back, this is a perfect way to integrate more fully, get some stress out, maybe rebalance their lives. And to be a volunteer is really simple. You can come do the training once a month, and then you too can help change someone's life right here, just like Craig here at BITSEC. 